A lot of those glasses are gone, especially as we get closer to the eclipse. But check with your local libraries if you get your glasses elsewhere. Just make sure they are certified because there are a lot of fake ones out there. Now, many people say seeing a total eclipse is a bucket list type of trip, a once in a lifetime experience. But for one UC Berkeley professor of astronomy, this eclipse is going to be total eclipse number 16. He is what is called an eclipse chaser. Watch Alex Milipenko in the telescope at the Cal campus, and it's pretty obvious that he's in his happy place. I'm a junkie. I'm an addict. I've seen 15 total solar eclipses. And when he talks about why he chases solar eclipses, he admits words just don't seem to do it justice. Well, a total solar eclipse is an incredibly mind-blowing, awesome experience. It really defies description. You have to be there to experience the whole thing. Filipenko has traveled all over the world chasing that mind-blowing experience. He even proposed to his wife on an eclipse trip and has t-shirts to mark most of them. But this eclipse has brought him full circle. My first total solar eclipse was on February 26th, 1979. That was in fact the last total solar eclipse to have reached the continental U.S. So we've had a long dry spell, 38 years. And I watched that one in Oregon, and I'll be watching this one in Oregon as well. So it's sort of like a homecoming. And while he says each one is different and special, this one is remarkable because its long trek over land will allow so many to see it. Something like 12 million Americans live within the path of totality, and fully 27% of the population, I think, lives within 200 or 250 miles of the path of totality. So it's very accessible. A lot of people will be able to see it. They don't have to travel to, you know, some far corner of the world. And viewing can be complicated. No matter what the sun and the moon do, if you don't have clear skies, you can't see it. Oregon and Idaho are predicted to have the best chance, but it will be packed. And Oregon wildfires have already made things a little more challenging, closing miles of roads and trails where tens of thousands of people were supposed to view the eclipse. Traffic on Eclipse Day could be absolutely staggering. It's possible that the roads will be a complete parking lot. No one really knows what's going to happen. But while the ground and the skies might be unpredictable, the eclipse is not. If you can't get to this one, there is a silver lining. If you have to miss this one, there's another chance coming up in the U.S. April 8, 2024. So just seven years later. Put it on your calendar, put it on your bucket list, but Filipenko says just make sure you see at least one total eclipse. Most people, once they've seen one, understand what the hype is all about. Not everyone, but most people say, wow, this was really something special. I did not anticipate this. I saw the photographs, I heard the descriptions, but in real life, the experience is indescribable.